Okay, this is part 9 of my uh, Assassin Archer Dragonborn DLC Let's Play, set to Master. And I'm almost picking up exactly where I left off on the last quest. I am going down this path, Knowledge um, quest, which I think is the main quest line. Ooh, talked too fast and got out of breath. Um, so let's have a quick look on the map and I'll show you where I've, what I've done since the last episode, which is nothing. All I've done is I was down here near the Blue Marker somewhere finding... Um, one of them death brand bits of armor in the chest and all I've done is run up here to tell Tel Mithrin and pretty much spoke to the guy inside um, inside Tel Mithrin here, this fella here and basically he told me a long and involved story which I've decided to cut out um, and spoke to a few of his people outside none of them gave me quests until I got to this guy and now we got to go off to a Dwemer ruin this guy basically had a big conversation with me about um, He's got the best entrance to his house, which is this float up and down lift. I want one. Yeah, so basically, he told me all about um, Dwemer, the Dwemer ruins, Black Books, uh, Hermaeus Mora. A really long, involved conversation. This guy can really talk. And therefore, unfortunately, I'm stuck with him as a follower. And we've got to head off to um, some Dwemer ruins, which are pretty close by. So I'm just going to run over to him. Come on, load. Oh, I thought you'd jammed up and again game. Funny Skyrim is the only game that uh, that actually crashes on me. So where we got to go quickly is to just here. So I'm just going to run down here to know the Chardak. And I spoke to these two guys here. They do told me nothing. Just a bit of background information on this Telmithrin. The dragon carcass seems to be following me around Skyrim, just falling out of the sky in front of me. And we'll head off to this quest marker and get it done. It says I've got to follow him, but I'm just going to run off. He'll catch up on the door. Or I'll get down here and I won't be able to get into the dwarven ruins. Alright, looks like I could swim across and come up the ramp there, but... um come across and come up that ramp but I won't because one thing in Skyrim once you start swimming you lose all your stealth so your sneak doesn't work in your favor anymore and it's pretty easy for the enemies to discover you so actually gonna come through the what looks like here to be the main entrance expecting someone to be here now they're up the top I can see two straight off I'm going to change to my Stallroom bow because it's better at range. These guys are a fair way away, so I'll put that bow on. I can see three enemies actually. So one guy sitting down on the right, and there's a guy on the left and a guy behind him. So I'm going to take a shot at the guy straight up. And then quickly see if I can get a shot on this guy as he stands up. And he's not a one shot. He's a one shot down too. I've got three on the HUD. This guy might come to where I am, he's not, he's going to stop up there, so I'll put on him. And he's a good sidestep on, which really annoys me in Skyrim, this whole sidestep business. So he's going to come to me, I'll just sit on him and be patient, I've still got stealth, and I think I've already got one shot on this guy, no I haven't. But oh, come on, shoot him. That's really bad shooting. And there's an enemy I can see up there in the distance, I changed to first person. And see if I can get a shot on him or her. That's done. I got one on the HUD, and I can actually see him right there. I can actually see him. Whether I can shoot through that net, I don't know. Obviously not. I'll change back my longbow. I'm sort of expecting him to come to me. There's two on the HUD actually. Go up there and have a look. Full stealth. I think maybe the first guy I put a shot on didn't die. There's one right there. I'll put a shot straight on him. Get a cool animation. And I'm thinking there's another one here somewhere. Put an arrow there. Nothing. Might have got them all. I did get a kill shot on the first guy. There's his body.
Okay, there's enemies there. I'm going to go back to the schoolroom bow and see if I can get by at range. But there's a guy there at the door. Put a shot on him. And see if I can get his mate. That's better shooting. That lets them down. Now, where's this follower dude? Well, let's keep going. These guys are going to have nothing much. I don't really need to stop and collect anything on this particular character. He's got two copies of the muffler spell. Shame he didn't use it, I might not have got shot. I don't know that there's anything else around here. I'm just taking a risk now and running around. And we really need our follower to turn up. I don't think I can get in without him. You got Lockpick. Don't need them soul gems. What I really want is a couple of grand soul gems so I can enchant some other stuff maybe. Take that guy's gold. He's got this heavy carved Nordic armor. Don't really want. And yeah, I haven't got the right item to unlock that. Here comes my mate. Here comes the, the dude anyway. Where you been? I've killed everyone. Don't want to know about it. Come and open this door, buddy. Is housed inside that dome. I'll need to unlock the door for us. Let's get on with it. The hey, I'm the one waiting for you. Appear to have been fond of these control pedestals. Luckily, I found a cube to operate it inside on my last visit. I sealed the door when I left to keep out ignorant meddlers. Let me unlock it. Just unlock it. Come on, let's go. In we go. I did get asked one question in the comments that I'll answer here and it was to do with how do I zoom in and out in third person I take it the guy I was meaning um, what's this guy got to say? So tantalizingly close but trust me no magic will open that I'd have had the book already if it could No, we'll have to do this the hard way If we can restore the steam supply to this room I'm certain I can open it. As you'll see, that's easier said than done. This way to the boilers. I could go. Get on with it. Hello. <laughs> he was about to say follow me. I've already gone down there. You're too slow, mate. Keep up. Yeah. So the question about how do you zoom in and zoom out in on the Xbox? Um, you can only do it in third person. Doesn't look like anything here. You can only do zoom in and zoom out in third person. And the way you do it is the actual button that you push to go from first person to third person, which is R3. Push it and hold it down and then, which is the right joystick. Um, the left joystick, just pull it back and you zoom out. Push it forward and you zoom in. And you can set third person camera angle up to where you want it. City of a hundred towers. In its day, it was the largest of the great weather. Oh, come on, get on with it. Can't do that. In the old story, I've got to wait for this guy to tell a story and probably come and do it for me. The shit's going to pop out of here eventually, I reckon. Invaders gave up. I have my doubts. But the city was a marvel of Dwemer engineers. Ah, fires catapults. Hope I don't need them later in the, this area. Here's another one of them pedestals. What are you doing, mate? Let's get on As with you it. you can see, most of the lower levels of the city are flooded. But it isn't hopeless. The old Dwemer pumps still seem to work. Watch. Control pedestal. He's going to show me what the control pedestal does. The pumps oh, it lowers the water level. Unfortunately. And there's more pedestals down here. Oil controller pedestal. Okay. So, if we can find four more cubes, we can turn these boilers back on and restore steam power to the room upstairs. Then I should be able to open the book's protective case. Bring that cube. We'll need it. 
All right. Oh, got the cube now. Hopefully I can run a bit ahead of this guy and not need to do what he's doing. Yes. Oh, come Here on, mate. What are we doing? This device shows the location of four more cubes in this section of the city. It looks like most of the cubes were moved to the lower levels, perhaps to try to control the flooding before the city was That doesn't was show me anything. Interesting. That would suggest that the city must have originally sunk during the first cataclysm of Red Mountain. Or that the Dwemer's servitors continued to try to preserve the city after their creator's disappearance. Right, cool story, bro. Let's get on with it. We're going in here. Three of the cubes are I've got the cube. Here. This seems like a sensible place to go. Right. Let's go. Hopefully, get on with his quest. This guy can talk. Now you can see why I actually cut out the first five minutes of this episode because it was just a massive conversation um, with this guy, which was very annoying. Um, nothing here. He's headed around here. There's a control pedestal. I hope the rest of the cubes are this easy to find. Knowing the Dwemer, I'd rather doubt it. Spider. Come out, this is... Put your sparks away, mate, they're dead. Common soul gem, Corbin oil. Crap. Let's go. What are we doing, mate? These must be the great workshops of your child. Coming to life, buddy. Oh, there's our quest marker there. So he's heading this way, and we've got control pedestals. Let's activate one of them because I've got the cube now and see what it does. Lowers the water level and it's popped out spiders. Let's see if we can give this guy a hand while he tries to electrocute these Dwemer things. And are they coming to me? They are. And they're both gonna die. And we got one more spider coming. Can I sneak that shot around there? Yeah, I got it. So we lowered the water level, does that let us get in somewhere? I'll have a quick check the soul gems here. Warping bolts. Freighter. We'll do for some recharging if I need to. Not the common. I really want grands. Right, there's more control pedestals down here. That's a control switch. It pops the staircase up. Which I'm gonna have to run around the long way to get to. It's a dwarven thing, I'm gonna search that the grand, but it's not filled, I'll take it anyway. Might actually have to go and do some hunting. Oh this guy's come to life. He's dead now. More arrows, oil, and there's one grand soldier in beautiful. Something's shooting me up the ass. Spider. And it's dead too. Another common. Beautiful. This switch dude, does it open the door up there or something? No, it opens the so we're going in here, obviously, because that quest marker is around to my left here. And there's nothing of interest laying around. Ah, that's easy. Another one. I don't know how many of these we've got to collect. We've got two now, eh? Or a spider.
You're a useless follower, mate. You can't even kill spiders. What about that one down there? Oh, he's attacking your... Conjuration. I've just shot my mate with an arrow then. Not happy anymore. Mate, your Conjuration got rid of that. What's around the corner here? Door. I should have been in stealth then when I went through that door. And an adept block. Maybe about there. And we're in. What do we got? Don't want that. Gold necklace I'll take. Take the potion and gold and I picked up a stupid fucking iron warhammer thing which I will dump straight away. Because I know I've got that um, enchantment unlocked. So where are we going now? Ash Guardian Cranky with me. We've got multiple quest markers. We've got the quest marker up the top here now. Come up. It looks like I've got to pick that up. What the hell's that? We don't get many visitors. Is there something you need? That's bizarre. That's the woman from out the front of Neloth's little mushroom. Sometimes this game does weird stuff. Alright, where's our quest marks? What's he doing over here? What's here? Nowhere. Nowhere. We've got to go back to that quest marker, to that control thing. That we put the other one in there, I guess, and the water level will go up. No, the water level goes down. We've got to take that one out and take this one out, and shit will probably come out and take that one. Now, shit will probably come out again, will it? More stuff come to life. No, the water level is going to rise. All right. Let's go around and see what he's doing. He's having a little swim. And we can now go up this way. This is a pretty easy puzzle to be solving, I think. Nothing. Well, what's that thing up there? That's dwarven and it's moving. Why the hell can't I shoot that guy there? Or did I kill him already? The spider, mate. Go away. What was that? What was what? I must have one shot at this thing, whatever it was. This thing. Did one shot it. I'll take the grand. There's another one there. They're not much chop actually. One shot. But this one here, our quest mark below it. Another greater. Take that. Oh that steam thing has come to life. Where is it gone, the steam thing? There it is. You distract it, mate. I'll shoot it in the arse. And it's down. We'll search this thing for sure. And another grand soldier, and brilliant. That's all I want. We got another enemy on the HUD, but. Where are you? Oh, it's a spider. Victorious 
Alright, I'm not going to search the spider, I'm heading for the quest marker. Only in potions. Right there to the way. West Market, that way, what's here? Well, that's where we originally went in. This is where we came in. Let's go and see what we got to do now. Wonder if I'll get through this area in one episode. Hopefully. <laughs> right. Where are you, buddy? What are we doing? Come on, come on. Don't worry about closing the door, let's go. Okay, we got a quest marker over that way. If you look at the quests. Yeah, it's still only one quest on. What do we do now, buddy? You'll go on down in the water. Oh, at the start, he said the water level lowers when you put these things in. Let's put them in. Shit will probably come to light it has behind me. I thought I could hear it. Come on, get rid of the animation. I need to spill stuff. That said, I swear sometimes Skyrim's arrows fire in weird angles. I think it's probably got more to do with third person than anything but then I've never tested it but I reckon Skyrim has some form of aim assist um, involved that's it I think I've had all my luck I'm gonna have with trying to find grand soul gems okay, let's go and see where this dude's got to if I jump off there and get over there yep Oh, he's fighting some shit over here by himself. No use sneaking because uh, he's already alerted everyone in the area. He must have already half killed that one. And there's what, one in here as well. That's that. Done and done, mate. I really want there. Dwarven oil. I can't remember what dwarven oil did. Nothing that I'm interested in. All is kind of go. Where are we going, buddy? What are we doing? Are oh, you waiting for me to put one of them things in? And we're going into an aqueduct. It looked like it was spelt in a weird way. Did I pronounce it weird like? There was actually another word, and I just said aqueduct. Right. Stuff is definitely going to come to life here somewhere. somewhere in here. Oh, mate. Such a... That's a bridge again. I Control pedestals. How to reach it? We'll need to get all three of these bridges down in order Thanks, to mate. I'd already worked that out. Well, actually, I didn't. I'd worked out you needed to get one bridge down. That's it. Don't touch anything else. Well, that was a fluke. I'm gonna say something's gotta to come to life. There it is. Another one. Come on, mate, kill the spider. And another spider, mate, kill the spider. I hate when they jump at my follower like that. Waste a perfectly good shot. Okay. I'm guessing I'm wasting my time searching. I've got a common.
There's a sphere up there. There's actually another sphere sitting up the top there too. Bang. This guy coming to me. Nah, I'm falling in the swim, so I'm no use for the minute. I fell off the edge. Did he kill this sphere yet? No, oh, he's still up there messing around with it. Conjured his useless thing again, which is alright, I suppose. The conjuration is. No, he's killed it. I'll search it for you, mate. Nothing. I'm getting tired of waiting around in this muck. Mate, you're a winger. A little area up there. We gotta go up here. I have an idea. I'll wait here and retrieve this cube once you find the last one with you. I'll find the last one, so we gotta go down there. See, there's stuff in there. What's in there? My whirlwind sprint there. No, obviously not. It fell off. I could jump. Another one of these things. These things. Dwarven Ballista Master. But. On Master, a 212 bow or 220 bow kills him. That's crazy. I need to make some of these enemies harder. A bow. Dwarven Bow of Thunderbolts. We'll have that. I don't know, but it's worth 500, I'll take it. Actually, that thing worth 500 is probably Bone Mail of Dwindling Flame. Worth cash, I'll take it. Gold. Cream Hurling. Dwarf Atonement. Archery. Nothing. Yeah, that's a... What do I just pick up? It'll be miscellaneous. This thing. That'll be quest related somewhere along the line for sure. Worth 500. It might be like those diamond, ruby, sort of egg things you picked up in the Dawn Guard that you could use to get into places later on. Right, let's go down here. I said I'll pick up the last one, which is probably going to be in here. Seeing we emptied the place of water and that door showed up, and no enemies. Ah, oh, traps. Trap there too with scissors, but it won't worry me because of my sneak thing. Need to get over there. Just too easy. And we need to press this control pedestal. And there's another trap on the floor, which I sort of never look at traps these days. Being I've been playing with sneak perk for so long, traps aren't coming back to life. I'm out of here. Other oh, water's filling up again. Do you have the cube? Good, good. One of my arrows now floating. This cube and we can be on our way. Why do we need to unlock all them things when I could just hop around there? Just rising even higher with both pumps shut down. That was easier than I expected. I'm glad you were here to do all the hard work. Yeah, thanks, man. With the cube I retrieved from the pumping pedestal, we should now have five cubes. Exactly what we need. Okay, I'm 29 minutes into this episode. I think this might run a little bit longer because I think I'll try and finish this dungeon. We've got all five we need, he's just said to me, so... Now we need to get out of here. Quest marker. The door is around the corner here. Probably up the top. No, there's nothing here but a chest. Apprentice hook. That's a uh, big 
I just take all that block pick. I just called it with me. It's underneath where we first come in. Yep. Right. So we're 30 minutes in now. I'm going to keep going uh, for a couple more minutes and see if I can get to the end of this little puzzle quiz. Sort this thing out. Here. Um, anything else on the life in this area? This guy annoys me how he opens my sneak eye and I think some enemies around. On the run, let's just run. Right, so what are we gonna do? You'll need the cube I picked up to start all the boilers. Here, I picked up this cube for you. For you. Shall we get on with it? Start oh I read these are the thing. These were here were the boiler things. You gotta start the boilers. I've got no cubes left. We said we had to find five cubes, I think. Thinking. Maybe I'll take one of them and put it in there. That bring the water level up. Don't fall in, I want to search ya. Adric, Dwarven, Amnethyst, Grand. And Ruby that I left behind, but... We've got a new quest marker up now. And it looks like it's where we came in. We might have actually solved this puzzle and be done, I think. And hopefully be done with this dumbass follower. Where am I going? I'm going there. Right, hopefully this is the end and I get the book and I can end this episode. It's going to be a bit more than my usual. I not really limit. 30 minutes is just the limit I put on myself. Not really a limit I need to. But once you get over 30 minutes, it takes too long to render and upload all these videos. Let's push this button. It's happening above us. Come on. Yes. Picking up the black book. Right. Please be my guest. You deserve the first. Yeah, I did all the hard work, mate. Besides, it could be very. Ah, oh, you're a sook. These books are known to drive many people. You're a sook. I want to shoot him again. All right, I will end this episode here, and we'll come back in the next episode, and I will read the black book, and I hopefully I don't die it. as soon as I go into this black book, like the last black book I read. Right, catch you guys next episode.